Hello friend, I welcome you to my channel Laser Graphics and Multimedia and in today's video you are going to learn how to make simple logo using Illustrator step by step tutorial. But before I dive into the tutorial, if you are pretty new to this channel, please remember to hit on the subscribe, turn on the notification bell so each time I post content about Illustrator tutorial you'll be notified. With that being said, so let's see how you can create simple logo with Illustrator. The first thing you need to do is to go to your toolbar right here and uh, click on put down and at this point here you need to make sure you choose your polygon tool having to see your polygon tool just come to the workspace and click once this allow you to have a polygon property pump up and then make sure your side is six and hit on okay now next thing you need to do is to press shift key and the hot key and drag this allow you to increase the size of the polygon shape Next thing you want to do is to come to the to, uh, appearance panel right here. Make sure from the appearance panel, make sure no color fill. And then you can increase the stroke width uh, by three, make it three. So you'll be able to see everything. Then for the polygon transform right here, uh, make sure you transform it to 90 degree. So you are going to have stuff like this. Okay. Then you can come down to the alignment panel section. Make sure you align to vertical and horizontal center so you are going to have something like this next thing you need to do is to click and hold down from the two spot right here this time around you need to choose direct selection tool so having choose direct selection tool you have to press shift key on your keyboard select this node shift key on your keyboard and select this node then you have to drag in uh, a little bit and uh, this is depends on exactly what how you want it to be curved so I leave it in uh, 50 percent then you have to go back to your pick tool so this time around what you need to do next is to press hot key on your keyboard and drag this allow you to make a copy of this particular uh shape the next thing you need to do is to uh once you make a copy and you are satisfied with the size the next thing you need to do is to press shift key and select the second shape then you can come to the alignment panel right here make sure you align to center so everything look perfect Next thing you need to do is to go up to the tools bar right here and make sure you to see your shape with that too. Now, the next thing you have to do is to press hot key on your keyboard and this allow you to cut some unwanted area. Then you will be left with something like this. Okay. Next thing you need to do is to press hot key and drag for you to make a duplicate and make sure it snap this way. Okay. Next thing you need to do is to rotate this particular shape. Okay. So you have to come to transform property by property right here and uh, make sure you choose 180 then you can press control plus control plus to zoom out so what you can do here is to drag a little bit down and make sure this shape snap to one another you have to press shift key and select the second shape then you come to the alignment panel make sure you align them properly at this point here next thing you need to do is to go to your shape builder to select your shape builder to and uh, make sure you connect this one right here and uh, make sure you connect this one right here so you're going to have stuff like this so next thing you need to do is to go back to your pick tool and then at this point here you need to make a duplicate of this shape also just press hot key on your keyboard and drag in uh drag to the bottom a little bit and make sure it form intercept select everything and uh should be that Then you have to come here also and make sure you connect this. So you are going to have uh, stuff like. So next thing you are going to do here is to fill this particular shape with different color of your choice. So you can select each of the shape and come to the appearance panel section. Then you can change this color to uh, another color. And then right here you can make sure you remove the stroke. You come here and remove the stroke width. So you are going to have a stuff like this. So you can uh, select the next uh, shape to hit and uh, use your eye color dropper and pick the color from here. And then lastly, you have to select this one right here and uh, use your eye color dropper and pick this color right here. So you have something like this. And then next thing you need to do is to select the other shape right here and then fill it with another color of your choice. So come to the appearance uh, panel section here and try to change the color. 
and uh, you're going to have stuff like this then you can come to the stroke from the appearance panel make sure no stroke then you can select the second shape right here and then uh, use your eye color dropper and select this and uh, you just have to select the third the last shape right here and your eye color dropper and select this so you have stuff like this okay so one more thing you can do once you're able to fill the color with uh shape with the color so you just have to press shift key and select each of the logo shape and shift key and select this and uh, press ctrl j to group select the third one here good and then press ctrl j to group them then you can select this one also shift key and then uh, select the second shape press ctrl j to group them and then you can select the third shape here shift key and select the, the other shape press ctrl j to group them you can press shift key and select the other shape and then you can take it outside so you're going to have something like this then you can select all these and then press the list key on your keyboard so you can fall back to the logo shape and this time around you have to align uh you have to uh, group everything together and come to alignment panel make sure you align to particle center so you have to group everything ctrl j to group then you have to go to alignment vertical center and alignment horizontal center okay you can press ctrl minus to zoom in ctrl minus to zoom in and you can press shift key and hot key to reduce the logo shape everything depends on exactly what you really want to achieve so this is how you can make a simple logo using your illustrator step-by-step -step tutorial i hope you guys find value for this video if you enjoyed this video give this video a big thumb up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorial like this thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye for now